Gerhard. You're watching NHC Coast a and &E. Grammy Award guitarist Ed Gerhard. <laughs> Welcome to another edition of NHC Coast A&E. Today's guest is Grammy Award winning guitarist Ed Gerhard. I am so excited to have Ed here in our studio. He's going to play a little bit, but uh, we're talking about the new CD, There and Gone. It is fantastic. Oh, thank you. Thanks. It took a bite out of me. It took me about, uh, what, three or four years to make that one from start to finish. I just kept, the direction kept changing and uh, I'd record stuff and re-record stuff and start over again and rewrite stuff and then finally uh, I finally got it nailed down so I'm glad to have that one out of my head and hopefully into yours. Yeah, I, well I've listened to the whole thing a couple of times and you know there's a couple of songs that really stick out you know I really like the Whiskey Mash song. Oh great. Thank I you. love the sound of the that guitar. I mean, you have a, a four, five, six, eight, no you said eight. eight yeah, the old, well I got some of the old Weisenborn guitars and uh, some of the newer reproductions of the Weisenborn guitars. It's a really great style of guitar. Uh, it started off as a Hawaiian instrument but they're so, they sound so great that you can use them for just about anything. I think Nirvana would sound great on Hawaiian. <laughs> now, you did tell, tell people, you started playing guitar when you were 14 and uh, you probably started you know, six string stuff, and, and then you got into slide, and, and a lot of people uh, really appreciate the, the work you do with the slide. Do you have people that you listen to? Well, the first guitar player I heard when I was a kid was Segovia, the great classical player. Under Segovia. Uh, I was 10 years old, and it, it just stopped me dead in my tracks. He was on a little black and white TV giving a master class on TV. Um, and that really changed my life. I mean, even at 10 years old, I knew something was different. It wasn't until I was 14 that I got a guitar. And I listened to a lot of classical guitar players like Segovia, Oscar Gila, Alexander Lagoya, and Ida Presti, uh, Julian Bream, John Williams, all those guys. Um, but uh, it wasn't until I heard Mississippi John Hurt that uh, another light went off in my head. Um, and I sort of abandoned the whole classical thing and went to blues. And then listened to a lot of the British Isles players like John Renborn, Bert, Bert Yanch, uh, then heard uh, uh, John Fahey and Leo Kotke and some of the American uh, style uh, steel string guitar players. Um, and just sort of branched off from there. You know, one thing, you know, if you follow it, one thing's like always going to lead you to the other thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, there was just such, the 70s were such a great time. People always knock the 70s, but it was such a fertile time for a lot of great music. Uh, it was a really good time to be alive and be a, be a budding young guitar player. There was so much stuff out there. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we need to listen to uh, you perform a little bit, I think. So we're going to take a quick break to uh, mention our sponsors, FurnitureForever.com. We provide these great chairs this for us. This is comfortable. <laughs> yes, yes. We got a nice special stool for you. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like, like a Barry White for my booties. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so what is NHCCoast.tv? NHCCoast.tv was created to provide a resource for the local business community for low-cost web-based video production services. Our primary objective is producing business storytelling videos that entertain, educate, and engage new and existing customers for our clients. We also produce event promotion and event coverage videos for the local business community.
All of the videos are hosted on nhcoast.tv and have the ability to be shared across the web on your website and all social media channels. If you are looking for a cost-effective way to leverage the power of web-based video, contact us today.
So we're back with Ed Gearhart, and uh, you blew us away. Oh, thank you. I mean, it's just, it's quite a privilege to get to see you, uh, you know, be able to stand next to you as you play. Uh, you my know, pleasure. Most people get, uh, you know, to sit in the audience. Of course, you play all over the world, you, Japan. Where else have you played? Well, well, this year alone, I'll be going to Japan and Italy and Canada. Uh, but I've played in South Korea, England, um, yeah, actually, I'll be in England uh, in a couple of weeks for the Glastonbury Festival. That's big. That's a huge festival. Yeah, it's the Stones, me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to be crazy over there. So. Wait, now you get the main stage? Are they side stages? And... They have like a million stages huh. all over the place, yeah. Uh, and it's all going on at the same time. So nobody can hear each other or anybody else. I, but the, I'm looking forward to that. Do you have friends who you go and see and uh, backstage? And run a... I know some people that are going to be playing there, so I'm going to try and figure out how I can get to see them. Hmm. Yeah. That must be neat. Yeah, it'll be great. But yeah, I do a pretty good amount of traveling. I've, I've stayed off the road for the last two years. I hadn't done a whole lot of overseas stuff to uh, finish up this record. But now that the record is done, uh, I'm really looking forward to hitting the road and, and playing some of these tunes for people. Um, talk about the, the, the nature of your specific instrument, you know, the guitar and how you have changed the tunings and do custom tunings. Because I think that's interesting to some people. I mean, it's not just straight E. It's... You know, you get to, I mean, I know you talked about doing drop D. Drop D, e, drop D, yeah. Drop D. Well, the tunings were something, I'm not into the tunings as much now as I used to be, but uh, it's a great way to explore the guitar is to get to, to, into a non-standard tuning. Um, you can make up different chord shapes for your left hand that sound completely different than if you were in standard tuning. Uh, it can really inspire your creativity, but ultimately it's, it's what you have to say that's mm. the most important thing. Some people... I mean, you can find a lot of great stuff by accident on the guitar, and that's what most of us do when we start out. Absolutely. But uh, it's what you do with it that really counts. And however you find it is, is, is fine with me, but doing something with it is the most important thing. So I tend to not rely on the tunings too much anymore, except for slide guitar uh, and wide, like Weisenborn style playing. But I do love the sound of them, and, and uh, I think they're a completely valid way to explore the instrument. Do you um, prefer slide sound over traditional picking no i like them both if i had if i could only choose one it would definitely be a, a, a six string guitar um but fortunately i can you know i don't have to choose just one so i, I play a slide guitar on, on this guitar like a normal upright guitar uh, on the weisenborn style guitar uh, electric lap steel guitar i love the sound of slide gu mm. guitar um, there wasn't really much of a tradition of, of people playing slide guitar, like Weisenborn style guitar, and having fully uh, conceived arrangements. It was mostly an accompaniment instrument or a, like a backup instrument or something you would play a solo on. Um, but when I got a hold of the Weisenborn, I, I decided to see if I could write tunes and arrangements that had you know, moving bass lines and harmonies and melodies and stuff you know, happening all at the same time. Because uh, basically with a slide, you have one finger. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? That's so. so uh, it's hard to get multiple things happening at the same time. So it was just kind of a nice challenge, and I came up with a couple of tunes and arrangements that I like, and uh, I really enjoyed playing the Wise and Boy. I think I fell in love with the slide when I first heard that, the Frankie and Johnny Sleepwalk. Oh, sure, yeah. yeah. It was an electric classic. laugh steel, yeah. a Hawaiian guitar, yeah. But then, of course, David Gilmore is one of my favorite guitar players of all time. and he, I'm told he's a good player. I haven't heard him play. <laughs> he, he, uh, he leveraged the sound of the slide, the lap uh, steel, on uh, Dark Side of the Moon is, is classic. Yeah, yeah. And so, well, I'm going to uh, segue into the next thing you guys are playing. You're performing this weekend, correct? At the Bow Lake Grange Hall, up in my little hometown Which of Which is a great place to see Ed. If you've never been, it's this small, um, so it's very intimate. It's usually, it, it's sold out. Usually um, it, is, yeah. You know, there's not a whole lot of room for people. I'm thinking it holds... Uh, 150, 200? Something like 150 people or something. Yeah, and you can get tickets at uh, Sheila's... Sheila's Deli. Deli, right in downtown Stratford. On the shores of mighty, mighty Bow Lake, yes. <laughs> and uh, you go on at 8 o'clock, correct? 8, 8 p.m., yeah. And you're going to be uh, performing songs from uh, your previous work as well as the new CD? It'll be a good mixture of stuff from, from There and Gone and from my other records and stuff I haven't recorded yet. And uh, this is the new CD right here. I don't know if you can get a close shot of that. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> it is. A, it's a great. Um, it's a nice I like the I like yeah. the art. And it, you had uh, found this on the internet, I think at uh, Kelly. My said. designer found it. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. 
there and gone, Ed Gearhart in the studio. You have to come check him out this on Saturday, Saturday, and we're going to take you out with um, a little bit of music from b before. We're going to take you out with a little bit of music. Thank you very much, Ed Gearhart, for coming in. Grammy Award guitarist Ed Gearhart.
This is what's happening this week on the New Hampshire Seacoast for Arts and Entertainment. Next week we have none other than Chase Bailey, filmmaker, coming on. Uh, he's supposedly going to show up. He's one of those people that does and sometimes doesn't show up. So if he doesn't, Bill Humphreys is going to sit in the chair. Until next week, my name is David Flood. Thanks, Evan.